is God's treasure. And so uh, we'll be challenging moms with that fact that home should be an island where you are helping prepare your treasure, your family, uh, to meet the Lord. That, that's going to be our emphasis. Uh, but in this island, this lighthouse here, Good News Baptist Church, uh, we want to introduce boys and girls to the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and help them become citizens of an eternal kingdom and to know the Lord. Uh, but we're going to have a good time doing it. And so, so thankful for the skit cast, all those who have helped prepare this set, and all the hard work that has gone into learning these lines. And, uh, uh, and we, we just want to see uh, this afternoon what's going to happen at Treasure Island this week. several hands raised where uh, people have, have Ohio, Ohio uh, tonight preaching. This is why the so that God will use that uh, in even a greater way to draw. I want to introduce boys and girls to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm trying to get what he weighs. Listen close. Here's how. 
how it goes. <clears throat> Long ago, the dread pirate Captain Flint buried his hoarded plunder on a place called Treasure Island. He carefully marked the buried treasure location on a map. But after Flint died, his former crew fought each other to find that map. One of the pirates named Billy Bones found it and tried to hide it from the others.
did you? I quit. You mean, you're no longer going to be a pirate anymore? Ah, no more a pirate. I'm a Red Sox fan now. <laughs> you and your friends take this map and travel to Treasure Island. I'm off to u -Hop. You mean, I hop. You hop, I hop. Who cares? As long as you're away from the pirates and your mother's cooking. Look, guys, we've got the map for Treasure Island. We must journey there right away before the pirates have time to react. I'm a ship, sir. The welcome back to Magic, we have a new celebration when we return. We call it the Island of Fair. We'll have games, prizes, and ice cream. Come, we sail on the morning tide. Exciting, boys and girls, who's coming back tomorrow? All right. We look forward to having you here. I have not gotten final numbers from Pastor Brown. How many children uh, have registered? How many mornings from miles? We were able to say on uh, Wednesday there are over 200 children registered. I think so we're close to 25 moms at this point. So uh, we are thanking the Lord. And I'm so thankful for all those who have worked to help us uh, get ready. Uh, we do take time each year uh, to have a dedication prayer, have the Bible workers stand. And we're going to do that a little later in the service. Uh, let all of our skid cats have an opportunity uh, to change. Uh, but I do want to challenge you again, please be in prayer for this week. Uh, as I mentioned this morning, the tent, part of the tent uh, being out back is so that we have a place to go if we have inclement weather. And uh, past years there's been a slight chance of rain. This year it sounds like more of a chance. And so would you just pray for good weather as you also pray for safety. God to work mightily in hearts. I do want to keep the service moving along because there is some preparation that needs to happen when we are done. But let me uh, just take a moment to welcome any guests that we might have in the service. And uh, let me ask if you are visiting for the first time this afternoon, would you slip your hand up? Anyone visiting for the first time uh, today? Okay. Uh, it is good to see some guests with us this afternoon, and we're trusting that the Lord will use this service to speak uh, to hearts. Let me mention some prayer requests, and then Brother Ron Zellman is going to come and pray as we receive the offering this afternoon.